it's for Sherwood. It was made in England. I bought it in 1993 and I've been using it more or less every single day since then. And I love it. It's not the fanciest, not the most expensive, but to me, out of all the final practices I have, this is the one that uh, um, I like the most. It's personal sized. It's taken a bit of a hammering, but the, the actual leather has stood up very well. It's, um, there's, no, uh, there's no damage to it. And the stitching is all intact. And the thing I like most about this is this. The flat ability. That's perfect. 10 out of 10. Uh, it's actually got some stiffener. If you, can you hear that? There's a stiffener on that side and a stiffener on this side, but it doesn't go across the spine. So it's in separate panels and the construction, the construction is such that you've got this almost perfect flat ability. And it's been like that since the day I purchased it. None of this having to, to train it or <sighs> it, all, all, the, all the efforts that people uh, um, talk about in terms of their, their desperate quest for flat ability. Well, luckily, this one, uh, there's no need for that. It's designed to open and stay open. And I personally think that for this product, for what it is designed to do, flat ability is something that is essential, really, but maybe I'm biased. Um, let's take this let's take this out, which is my diary for the for the year, and we'll have a, a closer look at its features. Okay, so rings. Bear in mind, I've been opening and shutting these rings thousands of times over the over the last twenty eight years. The actual rings, the alignment, and the gaps between the rings is as perfect today as it was. 28 years ago. Now I don't know whether that's a better quality set of rings than they are now, who knows, but I can only comment on this one and say that in 28 years of heavy use, daily use, there's been no alignment issues at all. So that's testament to the quality of this particular set of rings. So, leather-wise, it's it is calf leather, and it's the only the only way that I can describe this is to is to describe it as fantastic. That's that's my verdict. Look at the way it's been assembled. If you take these these corners here. Look at look at the quality of the construction of that curve and how they've cinched the leather. I mean that's just that is just phenomenally good. Um, eight eight credit card pockets, a full length pocket on the inside cover that will take a, a full size Farlafax page. There's another one on the back cover that is also full full length and will take a file of that page. Um, a full length zipped pocket which is slightly smaller so you can't get you can't get a, a, a full size personal sheet in there but whatever. Um, 
And something I really, really like about this is the construction of the pen loops. Now, both these pen loops are exactly the same. They will, they're absolutely spot on size for a standard size Filofax pen, but I prefer these G2s. So what I do is I, I cut off the plastic, the, the, the plastic piece here, and, and they will fit in here perfectly. There we go. Isn't that good? So, excellent. But these pen loops, the way they're, the way they're manufactured, I think it's a mate. Well, I'm going overboard here. I don't mean to go overboard, but I have seen some pen loops that are, frankly, a bit naff. But this particular one is a sing on both sides. It's a single piece of leather, and the benefits of a single piece of leather is that there's no fold over inside that will snag a pen. It's just one piece of leather and it's proper a proper piece of leather folded over and also it's stitched in such a way that instead of the pen loop um, sticking into the and affecting the dividers, it actually sticks out that way facing the facing the outside of the of the binder so that there's no there's no interference with the dividers at all and i like that i think that's much better and it's stitched really really well look at that i mean that is quality i feel like arthur negus casting his verdict on a piece of antique furniture that is that is marvelous that, I, you you can't get better than that as far as i'm concerned so and that is 28 years of use and look at it perfect the actual strap is again pretty pretty nice quality you can tell it's been used a lot look at the Look at the state of the um, the popper cap. I've used it so much the paint is wearing off, but it's not cracked in any way, and it's still it's still attached, which is good. Um, but again, the quality the quality is to my to my mind top of the range. Really, really good. I can't emphasise how 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 much I like this leather in this binder. The stitching is the stitching is really really good, and just everything about it, everything about it, to me, feels like it's top quality. Even though when this was bought, fifty pounds back in nineteen ninety nineteen ninety three. Um, I don't know, over a hundred pound now in today's money, but not several hundred pounds, probably maybe just over a hundred pounds. I don't know, but you can have a look at it and play around with an inflation calculator online and see how much 50 pound in 1993 is in today's money. But, uh, I'm, I bet it's made between a hundred and 120 pounds. So not excessive price. So I would say very very good value seven eight rings uh, which is pretty standard for personal size um, I would prefer it to have one inch rings but uh, but we can't have everything and what I use what I'm what I'm using this this has been used for a lot of different things um, databases and reference files that sort of thing but what I'm using it for currently is uh, my diary, a rolling 12 month diary, which is uh, a day to a page, which just about fits in a 7 eighths 
um, a seven eighths binder. Uh, depending on your on the on the actual paper weight, but this Firefax paper that I'm using that represents a twelve month rolling diary. So, are there any bad things about this? Um, no, not really. I can't fault it. I can't fault it at all. So I'll leave it there. It's the it's the um, Firefax Sherwood, made in England, bought in 1993, and it is my favourite Firefax. Bye for now.